y'all. I am here today to share the children's sermon with you guys. Um, today's lesson that Dr. Monster talked about in church was about how God, how grateful people share their abundance, their extra, with other people and with God. And part of Dr. Monster's scripture reading this morning was from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 6 through 13. And in those, um, in those verses, the Common English Bible translates that as, What I mean is this, the one who sows a small number of seeds will also reap a small crop. And the one who sows a generous amount of seeds will also reap a generous crop. Everyone should give whatever they have decided in their heart. They shouldn't give with hesitation or because of pressure. God loves a cheerful giver. God has the power to provide you with more than enough of every kind of grace. That way, you will have everything you need always, and in everything to provide more than enough for every kind of good work. As it is written, he scattered everywhere, he gave to the needy. His righteousness remains forever. The one who supplies seed for planting and bread for eating will supply and multiply your seed and will increase your crop, which is righteousness. You will be made rich in every way so that you can be generous in every way. Such generosity produces thanksgiving to God through us. Your ministry of this service to God's people isn't only fully meeting their needs, but it is also multiplying in many expressions of thanksgiving to God. They will give honor to God for your obedience to your confession of Christ's gospel. They will do this because this service provides evidence of your obedience and because of your generosity in sharing with them, with everyone. Now that's a really long passage, and they talked a lot about being thankful and giving. And, you know, as I was reading that passage, it reminded me a lot about Thanksgiving, which is coming up in just a few more weeks, right? So I wrote down, thanks, and on the other side here I wrote, giving. Because those are two words that we hear a lot in this passage, right? Well, thanks in Thanksgiving, right? What do we, why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? What are, what are we doing there, right? When we celebrate that day? Well, thanks is about identifying, knowing all that we have to be thankful for, right? It's not just about knowing we have lots of blessings though, right? We know. We are called to be grateful. Okay? So, how will we show our thanks to God today, on Sundays, every day at Thanksgiving? That might include um, singing songs of praise and worship, right? Those are ways in which we can give thanks to God. Uh, when we pray in worship, we are giving thanks to God. We're talking to God, right? Um, when you pray before your meals, or when you pray at the start of your day, or at the end of your day, or any other time, right? You are giving thanks to God because you are talking to God, expressing your, your gratitude, right? Okay, so there's the thanks. Let's talk about giving, okay? So, we are not only called to be thankful, we are called to share with others right? We are sh called to share the gifts that God has given us, right? It is important. It's just as important as saying we are thankful. The giving part is just as important, right? How do we share? How can we share every day? We can give our time to the church. We can give our time to organizations that um, share with others, that give to others, that show God's love to others. We can give our money to the church, right, to keep lights on, to 
keep worship going to make sure we have enough supplies, right? Those are ways that we can give to the church. But we can also give to homeless people in need. We can give to organizations that help, right? There are lots of ways we can give our money. We can give our time, right? We can give our support. We can pray for our church. We can pray for our country. We can pray for organizations that help people. We can pray for people specifically, right? So, your homework this week, as we leave this time together, is to think about how we are thankful. What are we thankful for this week? And how can we show God what we are thankful for? The second part of your homework is to think about how we take that thankfulness and express it in our giving. What are we giving to God? What does that look like? How do we do that? And maybe think of some new ways to express our thankfulness and some new ways to to give um, to glorify God. Hope you guys are doing good. I'll see you later. Bye.